Hey guys, Victoria here and welcome back to part 4 over 4 of the log series that I started. Today's video is going to be on the more challenging questions of logarithm. But first of all, we're going to go through the definition of logarithms, important things to remember and also the laws of logarithm just to refresh you guys. And first of all, we have the definition of logarithm. Log B A equals to C. And from there, you are going to change it to A equals to B to the power of C. And I talked about how to do this, but I'll repeat it again. So in the middle, the letter in the middle will be the king. So we have A, you're going to bring down A. And then small will become big, big become small. So small B will become big V and then big C will become small C. So that is how you get A equals to B, C. And we'll move on to the laws of logarithms. There are actually three laws. So log a x y equals to log a x plus log a y. The second law is log a x over y equals to log a x minus log a y. The third law is log a x to the power of n equals to n log a x. So you bring the n in front. And next, on the important things to remember, for logarithm, the first important thing is that log a1 is always equals to 0. The second thing is that log a a is equals to 1. Third thing is that log log a b equals to b. If you're confused about all these now, it's okay. We'll be applying these things later and I'll explain it again along the way. So yeah, let's proceed into today's video. Now we are going to proceed into the more challenging log questions for SPM and the first one 5 log 4x equals to 1 to 5 and the first thing that you have to do here is to log both sides if not you won't be able to solve it and you're going to choose a base to log both sides and how do you choose a base is by looking at the common multiple so between 5 and 1 to 5 the common multiple here is 5 so you are going to lock everything by base 5 so that you can cancel off some things. You are going to lock everything now. So once you put lock to everything, you are going to change everything to the multiple of 5. For example, 1, 2, 5, you are going to change it to 5 cubed because you can cancel it off that way so that is why you're going to change everything to the multiple of 5. For the next step, we are actually going to apply one of the three important things that I said before which is that log AA will be equals to 1. So log 55 5 will be equals to 1, you can cancel that off and write 1. And then proceed with the equation log 4x equals to log 5, 5 to the power of 3. And again, when you see log 5, 5, because log a a equals to 1, so log 5, 5 will be equals to 1 as well. So you are going to cancel that off and you are going to be left with only 3 there. Now copy the equation again, so log 4x equals to 3 and you're going to solve this by using the definition of logarithm. The one in the middle which is x is the king so it will remain the same. So we have x and then the small will become big, big will become small. So the small thing here is actually 4 so it will become big so it will become 4 and then the big thing is 3 it will become small so you get 4 to the power of 3. And your final answer is x equals to 64.
Number two is actually pretty simple. You just have to remember one of the three important things that I asked you to remember, which is that log log a b equals to b. Okay. And with this, you're going to cancel off 5, log 5, you'll get 1. And the thing that remains will be x plus 1 equals to 9. And you are going to solve for that, x equals to 8. This is your final answer. So the third question involves the change of basis. We have log 9, x minus 2 equals to log 3, 2. And you are going to change everything to a base with a common multiple so if you look at 9 and 3 you see that the common multiple here is 3 so you're going to change everything to base 3 so log 3 x minus 2 over log 3 9 equals the log 3 2. If you are not sure about how to change the basis, I did talk about that in my first video of logarithm. And now you're going to change 9 to 3 square, change everything to the multiple of 3. And I'm applying the second important thing that you need to know, which is log a a equals to 1. So you'll be left with a new equation, log 3 x minus 2 over 2 equals to log 3 2. And you're going to bring 2 over to the other side. And now we are referring to the third important thing that you have to remember. So log axn equals to n log ax. So with this, you're going to bring the 2 in front of log 3, 2 to the top. So you're going to get log 3, 2 square. Now that you have the same base, for both, that's log 3 and log 3, you can just compare the bases and you have your answer. So this example is quite similar to the one before this. So if you didn't understand the one before this, it's fine. Just try to understand this one. I'll go through this one more slowly. This involves the change of bases as well. So we have log 9, 2x plus 12 equals to log 3x plus 2. And you're going to identify the common multiple here. So between 3 and 9, the common multiple here is 3. So you're going to change all the base to 3. So we have log 3, 2x plus 12. The, one, the bigger one will be on top. And then the small 9 will be at the bottom. So we have log 3. But instead of writing 9, we'll go straight to writing 3 square because we're changing everything to base 3. The back you just copy down. And now by using one of the important things of log, log AA equals to 1, you're going to cancel log 3, 3. So you'll be left with only 2 there. And now you're going to multiply 2 by log 3 x plus 2 because we don't want to have division. And so you're going to recopy this line. The next step involves one of the laws of indices. So log a x to the power of n equals to n log ax so by using this law you're going to bring the 2 in front of log 3 x plus 2 to the back it's going to become a power and now that both sides are log 3 you can just expand the numbers at the back of the log you can just cancel off the log but you know don't cancel it off just write down the numbers at the back of the log and you are going to 
solve this quadratic equation. You can type it into the calculator or use the formula if you like. And you're going to get two values for x. But for logarithm, you're going to reject the negative value. Because log can never be negative. So the negative value is always rejected. So the answer that you have here is x equals to 2. That is your final answer. Question number five is something that may look difficult, but it's actually very easy. By just applying the definition of logarithm, you can solve this question. And it looks so long, but the solution is really very simple. So we are going to use the definition of logarithm for this. log b a equals to c a is the king a goes down b big becomes small small becomes big so that is the definition of logarithm and you're going to apply the same thing in order to solve this question so log 3 is the one in front and log 2 2 x minus 1 is king so it is going to remain the same okay and now the small tree will become big, so it will become big tree, and then the big 2 will become small, so it will become 3 squared. So you get log 2, 2x minus 1 equals to 9. And you are going to apply the definition of logarithm for the second time. So 2x minus 1 is going to remain, 2 becomes big, 9 becomes small, and you are going to get this value for x, x equals to 256.5 just by using two times the definition of logarithm you can solve this question then we'll move on to number six which is two over log five two equals to log two two minus x so when you come across the question like this where there is number and then there is log the first thing that you have to do is always to bring log to one side and to bring number to the other side so in this case, the way to bring log to one side is by multiplying. So 2 equals to log 5, 2 times by log 2, 2 minus x. And now you're going to change the base to the same base because you have base 5 here and base 2 but you only want one base if you want to solve this so you are going to change everything to base 2 so to change the base you have to write 1 over and the big becomes small, small becomes big it's that easy and so you get 1 over log 2, 5 multiplied with log 2, 2 minus x And now you need to get rid of the division. So you're going to take 2 multiplied by log 2, 5. You'll get 2 log 2, 5 equals to log 2, 2 minus x. You're going to apply one of the laws of logarithm in order to solve this again. So log a x to the power of n equals to n log a x. Super important formula, which is why it is repeated so many times. So by using this law you're going to bring the 2 in front of log 2 5 to become the power of 5 so you get log 2 5 squared equals to log 2 2 minus x and now that you have the same log with the same base log 2 and log 2 you can simply compare the number at the back so 25 equals to 2 minus x your x will be 23 So those are the six more challenging log questions that I have for you guys. And with this, my log series has ended. 
finally and if you don't understand anything in this video then maybe you can try doing some hands-on get a pencil and then just follow along and i'm sure that you will understand everything better i hope that this video was helpful and i'll see you guys in my next video